been a while, Daniel, since you could sit there and savour a, a win at home. What's your emotions after the game and how did you feel when you saw play? Yes, first of all, of course, uh, important win for us, uh, without without any doubt. And I think there's also no doubt that it was a well-deserved win. So I think we were the better side from the first to the last second. And um, yeah, win, clean sheet, win. It's good for the mood, good for the confidence, good for the table. And uh, yeah, without any doubt, a, a, a good evening for us. I mean, you said quite rightly it wasn't a must-win game before the game, but the celebrations at the end there, there was a lot of relief. It, it was a big game, wasn't it, in the context of another team around about you in the table? Yes, we, we can read the table and uh, knew that uh, loss today would have meant that we are, the uh, gap would would have been even closer and for that uh, even bigger and for that um, it's uh, it was quite important that we were there um, with this win but also there to be there with a, with a really good performance and also like a clean sheet also quite important also first clean sheet at home I think and uh, in general so also the expression of, um, of our situation right now because uh, today was the first time that we had during the the whole season that we had uh, three uh, centre backs available, and how important that was uh, showed when I was able uh, after uh, Ben uh, Godfrey was sent off uh, to to bring uh, Grant Henley uh, in, and also uh, we had options in the offense and uh, lots of competition uh, on the training pitch during this week, and it's uh, what we what we definitely need. So I didn't want to speak about this topic too much. Uh, before the last games, but uh, when you have to travel without to Old Trafford and you just have 16 field players on the training pitch, and when you need the um, academy in order to to have at least uh, 16 players uh, on the training pitch, um, then it's of course a big relief. And many injured players were coming back, and we were able to bring the two new faces in. And and yeah, when we have options and also uh, the quality, and and have to take some some tough choices, then uh, we also show that we can be competitive on on this level, and that's what we proved today. Ben Godfrey, thoughts on the yellow, which then became a red. I think that's the first time in the Premier League a red has been mm. produced by the referee looking at the monitor. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to speak uh, too much about the processes. So um, these are the new rules, and we accept this. So in general, I think both red cards were uh, were the right decision and and deserved the first uh, incident in the first half. And and also Ben's red card, I just put it back quite quickly. I think. Ben is Ben is a really good lad, and it's also like a expression of of, of our way. Yeah? It's it's sometimes our use leads a bit to to naivety, and of of course it was not necessary to to tackle that bad in this uh, in this situation. But it was not bad, bad intention, uh, not at all. So Ben is a really good guy, and he was just a bit over excited, over emotional after we lost the ball to win the ball back. Uh, in, uh, in this situation, he was he apologized immediately to to Callum and thank God there was no injury. And Ben is probably the most disappointed guy in the in the dressing room. And uh, yeah, for that it's it's quite normal. A young player has to learn sometimes his uh, lessons in, in this situation. That this will never happen uh, to to him again. And for that, no ac ac accusing. So we back our young lads. And it was just a bit uh, the expression of our our use that we are sometimes there with such a mistake. But uh, thank God, uh, Grant Henry was fantastic when he came in. He won each and every we offers to Els and helped us to bring this win then also in the last minutes over the line. But of course when it goes 10 v 10 and you're only 1 nil up and, and they obviously got a boost from that. Tim Cruz made an excellent save from Ake, you must have been very concerned at that stage that all your hard work may have ended in a draw or worse. Yes, of course, because in general, so uh, we had so many chances to score a second or perhaps a third goal, and, and great chances. And Timo Puki won against one of the goalkeeper, Imi Bundi won against one of the goalkeeper, uh, Duda, Cantwell, all with really good situations. Um, Kenny McLean. So um, and you know, so uh, on this level, then when you don't score the second goal, uh, anything can happen. And and there is sometimes a wide area free kick or a set piece, a corner, or um, a deflected strike that that can go in. And for that, it was so important that we. Um, defended further on, really, really switch on and concentrated, and and really fully committed, and you know to bring this uh, this win over the line. I think it was a great team effort today, and also good for the confidence, and that we know, okay, we can also bring a, a, a close result over the line, and also we can finish a game, especially a home game, also with a with a clean sheet, and I think it's good for the confidence. Also, Duda, given his debut today, how did you think he went? I think he was class, wasn't he? So um, uh, in general, so keeping in mind that he just came out of a winter preseason in Germany and. 
didn't play many games in the recent in the recent weeks. I think he was quite important for our game today. Um, more or less, he was crucial in order to score his first goal because his finish was fantastic. And and uh, when the field player wasn't there, was a perfect save. It would have would have been already his, his first goal under 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 his belt, and it was a top class finish. But in general, so also his ability to link the play. Uh, he was important for our balance. Sometimes to speed up our game. Sometimes to calm the game a, b a bit down. But also his tactical behavior, his work road rate. Uh, was quite good and I'm pretty delighted for him that he had uh, such a good first uh, working day uh, in a yellow shirt. Uh, Timu Puki, I think that's his 40th goal for the club in not a lot of games. 10th uh, Premier League goal, mm. a lot of plaudits already been played to him and obviously this week he won that award in Finland but just underline the importance of him to your team doesn't it? Yes, uh, he was uh, fantastic again and, and also like he forced uh, the situation with a brilliant movement after his perfect per, uh, pass of, of Todd Cantwell and the great movement of, of Timo and then um, Andre had the chance to be there with his clinical finish and then Timo was also really unbelievable focused and ice cold from the penalty spot and especially keeping in mind that it was not easy because he was out for three games and, and uh, two and a half weeks with this little injury and lots of hype around him and the travel for this individual award but then to be fo so focused in this situation was quite good I think he would have preferred to score also the second goal in the second half because actually he used such chance but uh, thank God we were, it was not costly today that he missed his chance and in general again um, top performance of Timo and you look at the table tonight that's still work ahead but that's the gap looks a lot better than it did at kick off I and mean, what does it do for the belief obviously there's many hard games now we've got the top now midweek but what does it do for the belief Yes, it's good for the belief, good for the mood, good for the table. Without any doubt, we are not overexcited uh, because we know it's it's still a long road. And we spoke before the game. Okay, we need probably uh, seven seven wins to to give us a chance. And right now, one box is ticked, and there are still six uh, wins needed. And uh, within 15 games, it's it's a long road and and difficult. And we also need to add uh, probably a few draws. So um, in uh, in general, so it will be it will be a long road. But without any doubt, we want to work on this miracle. And for that, it was definitely a good first step. Is the referee going to the monitor, is that an improvement? It also brought in all the mm. players. Sort of well, it Did depends a bit. Mm. We have this experience a bit in, uh, in Germany. It depends a bit on if the decision in the end right or wrong. So I think there's also lots of pressure on the uh, on the on the referee. When there's a home crowd always trying to put pressure on him, the players around him, and <laughs> he has to take a decision. It's it's in general difficult. So today probably both red cards were the right uh, were the right decisions, and for that uh, I'm pleased that uh, at least today VR seems uh, seems to work. Are you able to accept it easier because it's the guy who's out there officiating? the match with you rather than someone else hundred miles away. It's not up to me to judge uh, the processes. So in general, I, I think we have to to support and to strengthen the the role of the referee because in the recent weeks and months it seemed a bit like the referee is not in the driver's seat. Uh, someone else takes uh, the most important uh, decisions. I'm not sure if it uh, how it goes further on. So even in this situation, so it's it's I think difficult sometimes even for the referee. But today it was probably the right decision, and for that, um, yeah, no complaints today. Is okay. it disappointing to lose? A centre-back after you've just got, you know, you said you such a great thing to have for mm. it. Is it disappointing to lose one now? Yes, of course, because it was uh, then, of course, tricky. Yeah, Grant Henley had to come in and, into a div really difficult period of the game. Thank God he delivered with a top class, really 15 or 20 minutes, how long he was uh, was on the pitch. But of course, it doesn't help so much then uh, during the, 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 the next week, so without any doubt. And for that, uh, Ben Godfrey um, was unbelievably disappointed. And uh, yeah, we are all a bit disappointed that we don't have him available also for the for the next game properly. But um, yeah, that's uh, what, what uh, happens sometimes when you concede a red card. And for that, we have to learn and uh, my young lads have to learn out of this and yeah we back them and for that uh, yeah we have to go with the under the circumstances uh, on the uh, yeah the possibilities we have of course it doesn't help us in the, in the next game uh, but uh, yeah we have to handle and uh, the situation and to, to find a solution